We all need to see the face of God or else whatever we'll be doing will basically be selfish. It will just be our own ideas, our own ingenuity or selfishness motivating what we are doing. But with God in it, definitely we will have direction, we will have a sense of purpose and um, hopefully God will intervene. We're calling on her because there's not like in memory says there's nothing we've ever asked her that she's ever said no. So if it was one person that would change, if you think about changes in the revolution of like, like when we talk about the Fatima story and everything, it was Mary Rosary that changed all of us and changed Russia too, and we changed Nigeria as well. We have gone through so much, through hard times, finding our ways around. And so we are saying, Virgin Mother, come and intercede. Prayer, get across to our leaders, touch that hard spot and get them to listen. Get them to implement what will help this place move forward. Because if we don't do this, nobody will do it for us. And the moment we sleep on this, the moment we sleep and say, oh, we can't pray, we are tired of praying, the end of it, the end of it. Prayer comes, action takes place. Prayer comes, action takes place. Our Lord Jesus Christ taught us why he was on earth. He said prayer is the key. We have to start with prayer, we have to end with prayer. And anything without prayer is useless. God is a God of justice. What are we fighting for? We are fighting for justice. We are fighting for the right thing to be done. God is not a God of injustice. He's not a God of wrong. And he sees our hearts. And so we believe that with prayer, we will succeed on this fight. We will also uh, drive away those with evil intention. Prayer will help change the hearts of our leaders. Sometimes it's not just about talking to them. We also pray for the Holy Spirit to teach them to love. If you don't have love in you, you cannot do anything. We are offering this ministries for a peaceful Nigeria, for a growth, a Nigeria that is full of light, a Nigeria that is free of wickedness, a Nigeria that is free of self-centeredness. We pray for a, a Nigeria that is one, a truly united Nigeria. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. We know that as we pray to Christ to, to help us, as we pray to God to help us, when we ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, there's no record of where God, where Christ has said no to her. So she would definitely, I remember, Nigeria was consecrated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So she is the Queen of Nigeria and the month of October is the month of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Nigeria. So for us Catholics, it is important that we ask her to intercede for us. to actually make a great impact there will be God included absolutely you cannot do anything without including God because he's the maker and finisher of all things <laughs>